Another important time-related effect is the reverberation or reverb. But what is reverberation? Well, in general, it's a diffuse field of sound reflections. Let's say that we clap in a big empty room, then the first sound that gets into our ears will be what is known as direct sound. Then, after a few milliseconds, we will perceive the first echoes, also known as early reflections. This occur within the first 30 to 50 milliseconds. That's why we used that range to create the room effect, remember? Well, depending on the kind of material on the walls of the room, the sound may continue bouncing hundreds of times in all directions. This would create a dense group of reflections that is known as reverberation. So, as we can see, reverb is not the same as echo. Although they are very related, we could say that reverb is a group of hundreds of fast echoes. Now, when we listen to sounds in a room with reverb, it will create the sensation of longer sounds. So, the reverb is related to the decay of sounds. Some musical instruments, like the violin or a flute, really need a good amount of reverb to sound better. That's why music halls are created with long reverb, but movie theaters are not. So, it all depends on what kind of music or material you are talking about. Reverb also creates the sensation of space in the mix. So, if you want to fill space with an empty mix, reverb would be very useful. Lastly, the typical times for reverb are between uh, 0.5 seconds to 2.5 or 3 seconds. Many digital units give you the option of longer times, but in the real acoustic world, that's not a common case.